So for Pride Month, I'm participating in a charity drive that's attempting to raise $20,000 for the National LGBT Cancer Network. And I figure what better way to raise awareness for both causes than to highlight some prominent LGBT people in science. Today I want to talk about Sally Ride, first American woman in space aboard the spaceship Challenger. But she did so much more than that. She was like not only a science nerd, but she was a many faceted science nerd. She was a specialist in operating robotic arms in space. She helped studies on how metal alloys work in microgravity. She studied space adaptation syndrome. Also, check out recaps of the STS-41G mission she was on. She literally ended up doing repairs with a robot arm in mid-space. It reads like something out of a sci-fi movie. And when the Challenger blew up on its 10th mission, killing seven people, she was put on the commission to investigate it. She was the only scientist on the commission, and she literally passed covert info to Richard fucking Feynman to avoid it from getting covered up by the government. She was basically a science spy. And she unveiled a bunch of dysfunctional management and risk assessment at NASA, which made further space missions much safer. She would later serve on a similar committee looking into the destruction of the space shuttle Columbia. She had been married and divorced, but she eventually ended up with Tam O'Shaughnessy. I am very sorry, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. And they were together in a gay relationship until her death in 2012. And Tam continues her legacy as the executive head of Sally Ride Science, a nonprofit organization run out of the UC San Diego that seeks to inspire young women and push them to follow their curiosity in scientific fields. And how did Sally Ride die? From pancreatic cancer. And you could help prevent losing scientific minds to cancer by donating to the National LGBT Cancer Network. The donation link for the fundraiser I'm a part of is the first link in my link tree. And for every $1,000 we raise of our $20,000 goal, I will do another one of these videos and tell you about another great LGBT icon in science. If you have any requests of scientists or other LGBT icons in scientific fields that you want me to cover, leave them in the comments. And please donate to our fundraiser. It's for a great cause. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.